Hello friends, I am your Amarnath. In this video, we will discuss the questions asked previously in UPSC mains exam. Coming to the question asked previously, the question is on scientific management theory given by Taylor. The question says that Taylorism is considered very controversial despite its popularity comment. Question is on controversy over Taylorism and we need to comment on the question uh, given. Right? So this was asked in 2016 mains for 10 marks. So coming to the structure of the answer. In the structure of the answer, we should start our answer with introduction by highlighting the importance of scientific management theory. So as the question revolves around controversy despite its popularity. So our answer should be on this element of controversy right? and giving a pragmatic conclusion. So we all know that F.W. Taylor has given his scientific management theory in 1911. So he wrote the book on uh, principles of scientific management theory in 1911. So the main philosophy, the, the main aim of scientific management theory is to secure maximum cooperation, maximum prosperity for the employer as uh, along with maximum prosperity for every employee. So it is about gain for both employer as well as employee. So according to scientific management theory, there is no inherent conflict in the interest of employers and the employee. The primary concern of Taylorism is to increase productivity and equally benefit all the stakeholders that is the employer, the employee and the final consumers. However, there is a criticism against this Taylorism. According to Hoxie, right, scientific management theory is concerned only with the mechanistic aspects which has totally undermined the human aspects of production. So this is the criticism is on a lack of understanding the human aspects. Second, according to trade unions, right, they considered labor uh, Taylorism uh, as not only destroying the unionism, but also Taylorism destroyed the principle of collective bargaining. So this is the criticism that was brought by trade unions. Trade unions also felt that Taylor was more interested in the mechanical aspects right, and not much concerned about the work situation. So there was a total dehumanization in Taylorism. So there is no human element. There is no respect for human emotions or socio-psychological aspects of the uh, worker in the organization. So according to behaviorists, particularly behaviorists like Mark, Simon, Bernard charge that Taylor's, uh, Taylor's method of scientific management has sacrificed the initiative of the worker, the freedom of the worker, his intelligence and responsibility. So because of this, Simon and Mark has described scientific management theory as a physiological organization theory. So apart from this, there are several other criticism against uh, Taylorism, which includes right, uh, depersonalization of the individual. So worker becomes a mere cog in the machine. The relation between the worker and the executive became more remote as a result of lack of sense of participation. So as there is a clear division of functions between the worker and the management. So we have a concept called as functional foremanship. So because of this functional foremanship, the work is di being divided between the management and the uh, workers. All right. So four are made responsible for planning and four are made responsible for execution. So because of this division, stricter division of work, so there is a lack of sense of participation. So this is the element of depersonalization. 
right so it led to automation of workers so worker every worker has become a machine that is what automation of worker right which have uh, a physiological and neurological consequences according to peter drucker organization has become a piece of poor engineering judged by standards of human relations taylor's another criticism uh, is that uh, taylor's division of work uh, into planning and execution right has uh, failed to bring out a team spirit it has failed to develop a proper team spirit among the workers right and it uh, this division of work failed to bring participation of workers so these are the popular criticisms against taylorism so though scientific management theory is very popular and it has become the backbone of industrial revolution but still it has been surrounded with these criticisms in spite of these limitations taylorism re- even remains more important right this scientific management theory has more influence on reforms as well as economy movement in public administration so that is there lies the contribution of taylorism though there are uh, criticisms over taylorism but still the principles of scientific management theory are used to bring uh, reforms in organizations reforms in public administration as well as increase economy and effectiveness in uh, administrative work so this is the importance of taylorism i hope you have understood the answer if you have any doubt please comment in the comment section